Hello, my name is Caroline. I'm a product marketing manager at Vercata, and this video will cover how to set up the Vercata Pass app for use on an iOS device. The Pass app will act as your mobile credential when unlocking doors in your building. First, download the Vercata Pass app from the App Store. If you didn't receive an invitation to download the app from your administrator, you can find the Pass app by searching for Vercata Pass on the App Store. Once you have the app, enter the email you'll be using to log into Pass, then click Continue. At the next prompt, type in the short name your organization uses for Vercata. If you don't know the short name, reach out to your administrator. Then click Continue. The following prompt will give you options on how to authenticate to log into Pass. You can use a magic link that is sent to your email from Vercata, a password, or your SSO provider to log in. We'll use the magic link to log in for this video. After clicking Send the link, you should find an email in your inbox to log in to Pass. You will next go through several requests to grant the Pass app permissions on your device. First, Pass will ask you to use your phone's Bluetooth to connect with nearby door readers so you can unlock them via the app. Click Manage Bluetooth Settings, then click Allow. Pass will next ask for location permissions on your device. This is used for features such as geofencing for remote unlock. Click Manage Location Settings, and then click Set Location to Always On in Settings. You will be taken to your phone's Pass App Settings page. Click Location and ensure you have Always selected. Navigate back to the Pass App. If your organization also uses Vercata Intercom, you can choose if you'd like to use the Pass App to respond to intercom calls. Click Manage Microphone Settings and select Allow or Don't Allow, depending on your role. We will select Allow. Lastly, Pass is going to ask for notification permissions. These notifications will let you know when you need to log into an organization if you're logged out, as well as provide a way to answer calls if you are configured to be on a call list for a Vercata Intercom. Click Manage Notification Settings, then Allow. You are now ready to use the Pass app. To unlock a door, simply hold your phone near the reader. Depending on your organization's settings, you may have to hold your phone close enough that it's almost touching the reader, or you might find that a door unlocks from a greater distance as you approach. Ask your administrator for clarification if you're unsure. You can also remotely unlock doors by tapping the lock icon next to the door in the app. Note that your administrator may require you to be within a certain distance of the door for remote unlock to be available. You can see in the app if you are too far away from a specific door to be able to unlock it. If you frequently remotely unlock certain doors in your organization, you may wish to mark those doors as favorites. This will pin favorite doors to the top of the page, so you don't need to scroll down or search for them. To favorite a door, tap the star icon next to the search bar. Then tap the star icon next to one or more doors you would like to favorite. Click Done. You will now see these doors listed at the top. To remove a door from the favorite list, tap the star icon at the top, and tap the star icon again next to the door you wish to remove, then press Done. If you will use the Vercata Pass app to communicate via Vercata intercoms, click Intercoms across the bottom. You will see live camera footage from the intercom. Tap the microphone button to talk to visitors via the intercom, and tap the lock button to unlock the door. If your organization has authorized you to trigger a lockdown scenario, you will also see the Lockdowns tab across the bottom. To trigger a lockdown, Tap the relevant scenario, click Activate, and confirm by clicking Activate again. To release a lockdown, click Release and confirm. For more information on lockdowns, see the video in the description or ask your administrator. Finally, click into your profile. If your organization uses NFC mobile credentials, you will see a badge with the option to add it to your Apple Wallet. From the profile page, you can also adjust settings or log out. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have further questions, please visit our Knowledge Center or contact our 24-7 support team.